Welcome to Cambridge House Live. I'm Vanessa Collette at the World Resource Investment Conference. I'm joined by David Cole, President and CEO of Eurasian Minerals. Welcome, David. Great oh, to have you here with us. Thank you, Vanessa. David, Eurasian Minerals is a prospect generator. Can you explain to us how that model works? Happy to. You know, I, I talk about it often. I, um, I believe more in the prospect generation business model today than I did yesterday. Uh, and it, it, it always impresses me the ways that it accretes value. But in a nutshell, what we do is acquire large tracts of prospective mineral real estate and add value by doing good geology and then seek to leverage the fact that we're the landlord and we have the geological intelligence to advance those assets towards discovery into deals that are accretive with our uh, partners, accretive for our shareholders, deals with partners. So basically our partners come in, spend money on the assets, money goes in the ground to advance it. We leverage the fact that we're the landlord and we have the expertise. And we have done this in a dozen countries with over 100 properties around the world. That's a huge global portfolio. How do you keep track of all your properties and manage them? Yeah, you know, I get asked that question often. And we work on a business unit basis where each business unit manager is a quite astute character that knows the uh, geological um, attributes of the region as well as the history of the area, the business climate, understands the business risks and is able to execute the business in that, in that region. So really the fundamental answer to the question is great people. So you have really good people that manage each business unit and that enables us to have this large portfolio. So in that sense, your, your model is almost like a franchise. It, it, actually, it, it, we've talked about it being franchisable. That's correct, yep, yep. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So which jurisdictions are the most appealing to you around the world? So there's a number of them. Uh, we're very, very proud of our assets in Arizona right now. And Arizona has an unbelievable endowment of copper and molybdenum. And we have some key assets in some of those key copper belts that we're quite proud of. Many of those assets are joint ventured with Valet, one of the world's largest mining houses, as well as some projects that are joint ventured with Freeport and others. I'm particularly interested in what's going on there in our portfolio. Likewise, Turkey, uh, we've been doing prospect generation in Turkey for a decade and we have uh, the results of a well-run business there, including the discovery at Akarja, a gold-silver discovery in Western Turkey, that I'm very, very pleased with. That's a key asset in our global portfolio. Also, the Balya lead zinc silver discovery that we have there, where we have a 4% royalty on that. All fruits of executing this prospect generation business model around the world. Those are two good examples. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the work you're doing in Russia? Yeah. Russia is particularly interesting. Yeah, that's actually a strategic investment. So in addition to the organic growth through the prospect generation business model, we also look for uh, specific opportunities to invest our capital into companies that have a particularly interesting property. And we've done that successfully with Intergeo Resources, a private company, advancing what looks to be perhaps one of the largest ongoing new copper gold discoveries in the world. We have a belt of new porphyry coppers, uh, deposits that have been found and we're delighted to be the 36% uh, shareholder in the private company, IGR, that's advancing uh, these discoveries. And because they're a private company, most people don't know about this discovery. And some of the drill results um, are on our website. We're, we're just delighted uh, with, with that opportunity. That represents a significant value to the Eurasian Mineral shareholder. So in that sense, having a private entity within your portfolio, you, you're running a portfolio. That's correct. And, and Here's one of the interesting aspects about having a prospect generation portfolio and a merchant banking portfolio that's part and parcel grown within that, is we're managing a portfolio of exploration properties and investments around the world to the betterment of our shareholder, where we utilize our geological intelligence, our understanding of all the risks involved in the exploration business, which are huge, and, and we manage that portfolio to the betterment of our, of our shareholder rather than the shareholder having to go out and buy individual companies and betting on which one will be successful or not. I believe it's a vastly superior model. How have you been able to attract such um, names as Valet um, and some of these major groups that you've worked with? Yeah, um, great question. And, and, and we're delighted to have Newmont Mining Corporation as a partner, Antofagasta. Uh, also a partner, a uh, you know, $20 billion market cap company. Valet, one of the largest mining houses in the world, is a partner. Freeport, the largest copper company in the world, is a partner. And uh, you know, these companies have respect for our geological intelligence, but most importantly, at the end of the day, it's the level of prospectiveness of the assets that we have and how they view those that attracts them as, as a partner. And um, 
I hope that we can continue to provide opportunities for these major mining houses and we can continue to get their money spent on our properties. I've heard you use the analogy of other people's money. Yep. How much of other people's money is being put up and how much is Eurasian being you know, put yeah, up? That, that ratio is quite favorable over time and actually that's a key performance indicator that we track. And right now we're running at about $15 million per year of other people's money being invested in our assets globally. Um, and we do track that and we use that as a gauge as to how we're doing in our business model. And over time, over 60% of all the money that's been invested in our assets globally has been somebody else's account. Eurasian's royalty income stream has been growing. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah. So one of the fruits of a well-managed prospect generation portfolio is the organic growth of royalties because we get royalties and carried positions in properties. And as the portfolios advance over the decade, we continue to add to our number of royalties that we have. In addition, we have gone out and leapfrogged that process and purchased cash flow in royalties. I'm extraordinarily happy to have the Leeville royalty on the Carlin Trend operated by Newmont. We have a royalty on a number of Newmont's mining operations in the northern portion of the Carlin Trend. Right now, that's paying around $4 million per year to our account. It's, it's delightful to go to the mailbox and get a check. Right, and that provides you some ability to self-finance. Yep, yeah, exactly. And we're sitting here with $20 million in the bank and $4 million a year coming in from royalty income flow. That gives us the, the serious uh, arrows in the quiver to be able to take advantage of this downturn and utilize volatility to our advantage rather than be utilized by volatility. Right, and um, more on that, do you see a lot of opportunities for Eurasian with these you know, gold and silver price pullbacks that we've seen? We do, however, we're, we're, it would be very easy to run out of the gate and say, wow, this is a great opportunity, let's buy everything we see. We want to be very prudent with our investment and um, not accumulate a large portfolio just to accumulate a portfolio. We have a very high threshold, a strong filter, and we're looking to acquire key assets. What are some milestones that investors can look out for in the next 12 months? Continued news flow that emanate from additional deals done within our portfolio. I'm particularly interested in the uh, Copper Basin property in Arizona, joint venture with Valley. That's a, that's a property that has always made my blood flow. And um, you know, we should see drill results come from that property in the future. Likewise, the Akarja prospect is an ongoing discovery and we'll continue to, we'll get the drill rigs back going on that with the spring weather. And that one is one that uh, will generate additional results. And the one you, in Russia, um, we don't talk a lot about that one, but, but there will be some more results uh, that will come out from that uh, district scale. Very interesting opportunity, yeah. Excellent, well thank you so much for joining us today, David. It's been a pleasure and we hope to have you back again soon. Oh, thank you, Vanessa.